Setting the takeoff trim in the A320 family of aircraft can be a little bit confusing for new pilots, especially as even in the real world, different airlines do it differently. And there's lots of information to take on board. Is it up? Is it down? Is it the zero fuel weight center of gravity? Or is it our final center of gravity? All of these things can confuse new pilots. So let's quickly go over what we actually need to do and then how we actually do it. First off, you need your zero fuel weight center of gravity and then you need your final takeoff weight center of gravity. In both the fly-by-wire and the Innables A320 aircraft, these are found on the EFB tablet screens, whereas in the Phoenix aircraft you'll find them with the McDo using your messages and looking at your load sheet. Don't get confused though, they call them something slightly different, it is the MAC zero fuel weight and the MAC takeoff weight. Same thing, MAC can be substituted for centre of gravity. Now regardless of which aircraft you are using, it is the final takeoff weight centre of gravity that you are going to use, the MAC takeoff weight in the Phoenix aircraft or the takeoff weight CFG in the others. Enter this in and then do your calculations to get the result. And you'll see we then get a flap setting and a trimmable horizontal stabilizer setting. In this case, it is down 0.7. So what next? Well, then you would go to the performance page and you would type in the flap setting and the trimmable horizontal stabilizer setting and put it into the box. And then as part of the after engine start flows, we set the trim to down 0.7 in this case. And we can see the trim wheel here. We've got up two, up one, zero, down one, down two. And it actually can be a little bit confusing as to where exactly 0.7 is. We've just set it there, look. And yes, in real life, pilots have got this wrong and set up for down and swapped them over by mistake. And so to mitigate this, some airlines don't bother with the up and down field in the McDo box. Actually, they leave this blank and they simply set the center of gravity. See, we've got this marked here as well, center of gravity, 25, 30, 35. It's not ambiguous, it's either right or it's wrong. With this load sheet, the takeoff weight seems G is 31.5, so we simply move the trim wheel to 31.5. This is around here, and you basically just eyeball it. And here, for example, in the inner builds, we'd set the trim to 25.5. On the takeoff performance page in the McDo, simply enter the flaps and nothing else. No up, no down. That is how you can set the takeoff trim in the A320 family of aircraft.